Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jenny Middleton, and I'm a senior research fellow here in uh, Mobilities and Human Geography based in the Transport Studies Unit. Now, what I'm going to do is spend a couple of minutes outlining who and what the TSU are and what we actually do before handing over to one of our new research fellows, Dr. James Palmer. Um, James is going to outline some of the research that he's currently involved with as a means of showcasing just one example of the range of research activities taking place um, within the unit. Okay, so the TSU, as you know, is a research centre based here in the School of Geography and the Environment. Now, TSU aims to be very much at the leading edge in national and international transport developments, with a particular emphasis on understanding the social, economic and environmental implications of transport over both time and space. Through its various incarnations over the last 40 years, it was established in 1973, the unit has established an international research reputation in the field of transport policy analysis, the development of new methodologies and behavioural studies. Now the research within and across TSU takes a very much an interdisciplinary approach to the study of transport and mobility, drawing on relevant key developments in geography, environmental and transport studies, economics, sociology, psychology and the engineering sciences. Now, as you can see from the slide, the research activities within TSU tend to fall within four broad themes. First is governance and public policy, whereby the focus is very much on transport policy and governance, but at multiple geographical scales. Core strands of work include transport policy in a resource efficient economy, the analysis of transport policy and planning, and governing low carbon mobilities. The second theme relates to culture and society and very much concentrates on people's mobility against a backdrop of societal transformations such as population ageing, the growth of new information technologies and increasing income inequalities within and between nations. Third is work concerned with reduced energy consumption, behavioural change and socio-technical transitions towards low carbon energy efficient transport systems. And the fourth and final research theme relates to health and well-being through consideration of the complex relationships between transport, health, well-being and sustainable development. Now, alongside this wide range of research activities and our significant contributions to undergraduate and postgraduate teaching here in the school, we also run a successful Global Challenges in Transport Leadership Programme. Now this programme is very much aimed at early to mid-career transport professionals from both the public and private sector, so that includes policy makers, practitioners, NGOs, academics and consultants. And the programme is run as four distinct courses, um, that are four days long, and they're taught by leading academic policy, business and industry experts who offer a range of disciplinary perspectives and sort of international experiences. Now, through lectures, seminars, workshops and field visits, the aim is very much on creating a stimulating dialogue from participants from a very diverse range of backgrounds around key transport questions, debates and challenges. So you can see that on the slide there's a flavour of, our, of the courses that run throughout the year. Um, and we've just had a very successful one in December on health, wellbeing and urban mobility. Now, what I hope to have done in a very short space of time is give you a brief flavour of some of the things that TSU do before I hand over to James Palmer, who's going to say a bit about his research on transport and biofuels. Thank you.